Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Shan, I'm a 26 year old management consultant living in London and on this channel you can find planning, personal finance and lifestyle content. So we're actually going to be planning out our week commencing the 23rd of October through the 29th. It's been a couple of weeks since I've filmed a plan with me I feel like. I feel like we're just entering into like a fairly busy season of life and yeah work has definitely been super busy which has just meant that I've had no energy to do anything but relax <laughs> when the work week ends but I do have quite a lot of annual leave or PTO coming up so I'm very excited for that but anyway let's get straight into this week's plan with me okay so I've actually been quite consistent with um planning in my planner even though I haven't necessarily been recording i thought i'd show you what we're getting up to today which is sunday i have done kind of a few things today i've done my am routine taking my vitamins i should probably take that off uh, my folic acid tablets are not in the same place as my vitamins which is why i put them into two different categories because i just will forget otherwise I've done a daily walk already um i will be working out after i film this video i'm gonna go to the gym tracker and pill get done later on in the video i am filming so i can tick that off i wasn't sure if i'd get that done today so yeah, did need to go to Sainsbury's to get some points put onto my points card. Edit video, thumbnail, schedule, upload. I'll do them later today once I'm back from the gym, uh, along with washing my hair. I'll do that when I get back from the gym, along with changing my sheets. And then I need to do an application for a new gym, which I will do also when I've got some downtime this evening. And then PM routine will do at night as well. Uh, I will put my gym workout in the schedule part once I do it. For dinner, I think we're going to do a roast chicken dinner and then I obviously won't be able to fill in my calories until I have finished the day. And then 7.52, you guys, I was in the Sunday mood. I decided to get McDonald's breakfast as I went on my walk. Um, In all fairness, I did have a 15% off voucher, so I didn't actually pay full price. But even so, 7.52, I feel like it's quite a lot for McDonald's breakfast. The prices have just been going up. Like, I feel like a hash brown now is well over a pound which is just crazy like they used to be i'm sure they were 79p way back in the day but anyway that's inflation for you so yeah that's what we're looking like for sunday i think i might start including that in my plan with me video is just kind of a recap of what i'm doing on the actual day that i'm filming so yeah filming on sunday the 22nd i'm trying to be a bit more organized and get these filmed prior to the week starting it's just difficult because i usually go to my partner's house on the weekend and i won't get back until like very late on sunday and by that point it's too dark for me to film in natural light so i end up having to film on monday morning so yeah i'm not actually going to my partner's this weekend which as much as i love hanging out with him it's quite a nice break to just be at home i consider us to be in a medium distance relationship door to door from mine to his probably takes just under two hours so uh, it's quite nice to not have to commute on like a Friday and then have to commute again on a Sunday. So going straight into Monday, we've got quite a few things we need to do. The first thing is I need to visit the tailor. So we do have a family party this weekend, which I know that's so bad that I've left it so late to get this outfit tailored. But yeah, the outfit did arrive a little bit late and then I just have been a little bit lax at getting things sorted out. So possibly need to get that outfit tailored if not i have just ordered about six dresses to try on um the party is an all white party which i find so difficult to find outfits for because i don't know i just feel <laughs> i feel like white is such a hard like color to style so yeah i mean i do have a few options so it's fine we've got options and then I do actually need to try on some clothes that I bought today. I, I know that I just cannot be bothered to try them on today. So I'm like, I need to do it first thing tomorrow because if I don't like them, I want to go and return it straight away. And that was actually the clothes from Sainsbury's, which is interesting. Sainsbury's, for those who don't know, is a supermarket in the UK and they have a a line of clothing called TU, T-U, I've completely forgotten what it stands for, but very often they do 25% off clothing and their clothing is actually really good quality. I think I just bought a pair of leggings, uh, a pair of kind of like flat work shoes and another pair of trousers for work as well. So I just wanted to see if they fit. If not, I'll just go and return them. And I think the 25% off only lasts for a week. So if I don't like the sizing of the items, I, I've got time to go back and get a bigger size with the discount as well. What else do we need to do? So I would like to uh, edit another video. Now I'm not actually sure which video yet. I've got quite a few videos that are just filmed waiting to be uh, edited and uploaded. So I'm just gonna put edit video for now. I'll pick one of them to actually edit when it comes to it. And then I also want to upload and schedule the video as well as do the thumbnail as well. I like to get it all just done in one day so that it's all done and dusted. 
And then I do need to book my t train ticket uh, for going to work the day after on Tuesday because I do travel about two and a half hours to uh, my client office every Tuesday. So I need to make sure I book that ticket the night before. And then I want to do a few to do's that are related to work. So I want to pick out my outfit. It just makes the mornings go so much quicker when my outfit's picked out. And then I also want to pack my bag. I am currently part of a step challenge at work and my team is very clearly winning. Like we've got uh, someone who used to be in the army on my team and he is like, he's a tank. He's been clearing over 30,000 steps a day. So our team is very much in the clear, but I still want to do my bit. So I've been really taking it seriously. And I've been, I even get up a little bit earlier on Tuesdays when I've got to go into the office to be able to walk from my house to the station. It's about like a 15, 20 minute walk, but my mum or dad would usually just drop me just because it means that I get like 20 minutes extra in bed just because I already wake up super early on days that I need to get to the office or the client office. So yeah, I do want to make sure that all of this stuff is done so that I can just grab it and go. I literally, all I need to then do is just have a shower in the morning, do my AM routine and then I'm just out of the door. <laughs> so yeah, pick outfit and pack bag needs to be done the night before. And then I also want to sort my lunch. I'm just going to put lunch with a question mark because we'll see how I feel close to the time. There is a canteen that has very subsidized lunches in the office. But of the things that they have, I don't usually really like much of it. So the only thing I would have is a pizza, which you guys like, <laughs> the pizza is so high calorie that I'm kind of just like, do I really want to do this? And it keeps me full for hours, but to the point where you like, you kind of feel a bit sicky full. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice pizza, but I'm just like, I'm trying to be a bit more health conscious. So wasabi who are a, like an Asian, what are they like i guess asian fast food store in the uk they've they've got these kind of like ready meals they're a lot nicer than ready meal i don't like the term ready meal it makes me feel like it's what would we call it a tv dinner i don't know what you would call the equivalent in america a tv dinner maybe but that's the vibe that a ready meal gives me so i, I like to avoid them but it is really nice it's a chicken katsu curry and you get like the breaded chicken you get the katsu sauce and the rice and you just pop it into the microwave for a couple of minutes and it's really nice so I might get that the night before. We'll see how I how I feel. But um, yeah, I definitely want to consider that. And then I also bring my own cutlery because I'm convinced that no one washes the cutlery properly <laughs> in offices. Um, what else do we need to do? Uh, I think that's about it for Monday. I will obviously go to the gym as well, but I will go after work. On two, Tuesday, oh, dreaded Guildford day. We're going to jazz it up a little bit by putting in a holographic coffee cup sticker. I don't actually drink coffee. I do drink hot chocolate and I have the Greg's, um, well, it's like an O2 priority thing. O2 is a telephone, what do you call it? A mobile phone provider? A contract provider? <laughs> I don't know. What do you call it? You guys are probably screaming at me. It's the um, provider with my work phone and... I get access to their app, which is called O2 Priority. And every week you get a free drink from Greg's or a, a sausage roll. So I usually just go for the drink when I am going to work in the mornings very early. If I can get to the station early enough, I will just go to Greg's and get a hot chocolate. So that's a bit of a nice treat. So I'm just going to put Guildford, which is where the office is. Still don't have a pretty ruler. So we're going to use this crusty pink one that I've had pr probably like... 15 years at this point i'm just gonna drag it down to five and then what i did do last week which was absolutely knackering but um it did me well and i had a really good sleep i go to the gym straight after i come back from guildford so i will literally go from guildford to the gym and then go home so i think we'll probably do that this time as well and then i would like to actually get out a video i think that would be good to set that up so the video that I would have uh, edited the day before will schedule or actually i'm trying to edit a video today so that one that, that i edit today can go live again i'm not sure what it's going to be so i'm just going to put live and then i'll fill that in when i know more but yeah i'm pretty much going to be in guildford i'll leave my house around sort of 6 45 7 and then i won't get home probably until 8 39 ish because i'll go to the gym in this period and then yeah just will do my pm routine shower have some kind of dinner and then go to bed so tuesday there's not really going to be much going on other than work on to wednesday i will need to take out some cash because i do have a 
um, mani pedi appointment. So earlier on in the day, I'll go on a walk on my lunch break and then I'll take out the cash and then later on in the day, I'll go for my money pedi. And the money pedi is at 5.15. I'm actually going to a different place this time. You guys, Nail Chronicles continues. So I found a place which I actually really like that's not too far from my actual company's office. So the days that I go in, I can kind of plan it around that. I also can't spell pedi. Um... Yeah, so I used to plan it around when I would go into the office. But I just thought to myself, it might just be easier if I can just find a place that's very close to me. So there's where I go for my daily walks, which is probably about a 20 minute walk from my house. There is a shop that I think I went to maybe once or twice. And I know that they now do builder gel. And I actually have my own bottle of builder gel that I bring with me because I really like the brand. Um, I like the colour. I think I always get like... It's probably hard to see because the lighting's quite rubbish. It's really sunny today. And if I open my blinds, it's just going to be too bright. But I feel like I'm quite fussy when it comes to the colour of my like base for French tips. And I don't feel like many places have the exact colour I want in Builder Gel format. They have it in like regular gel polish. But because Builder Gel is slightly new in the UK, I usually only have one brand, which is Builder in a Bottle. And I do not like the base colours for French from Builder in the Bottle. And I've also heard so many bad things about the brand itself in terms of what they use in their products. Like loads of people have had random allergic reactions. So I try and steer clear of that brand. My old nail tech, who you guys know I love, um, but she's a perfectionist, which means that I'm literally with her for about five hours and she doesn't live close to me. Um, she uses this particular Italian brand of Builder Gel because she's Italian. So I just actually purchased it myself. It was about £8, £10, it's super, super cheap. So now I just take that with me to the nail shops I go to and I'm just like, can you please use that? The nail shop I'm currently going to, they're really sweet. They actually give me a bit of a discount for bringing my own polish and I might be a bit cheeky and ask this new nail shop. I say it's new, it's not new because I have been there before, um, but I've only gone there for gel polish. I might ask them if they can give me a discount too. We'll see. I mean, I'm not going to not go if they don't give me a discount because to be honest, they're still the cheapest out of all of the shops I'm going to. But I'm really keeping my fingers and toes, <laughs> pun definitely not intended, um, crossed that I like this place because they are so close to me and it would be 10 times more convenient to go there than have to only get my nails done when I like travel for work or travel into the office for work. I mean, I don't have to go to the office to be able to go there, but yeah just trying to make things a little bit easier and also I don't have to pay to go there too because it's walking distance right that was very we're in a very talkative mood today guys I'm sorry um I feel like I haven't filmed for ages so there's lots I want to update you on but yeah I just need to do my money and petty appointment this day and then take cash out I haven't really planned much else I'm aware that work is going to be busy again this week so I'm really trying to not do too much and plan too much just because I know I'll have an exhausting day and then again I'm trying to go to the gym after work every day too so that will take up most of my evening as well on to Thursday it is actually my future sister-in-law's birthday she's going to be 16 so my partner's sister um so I want to pop that down I did forget to bring her present to uh, my partner's house last time I went there um so I'm going to have to give it to her like after her birthday. But I guess, you know what? It means her birthday lasts longer because she'll still be opening presents after her birthday. So she'll be 16, which is exciting. Um, I just got her something off of her birthday list. She wanted the Sol de Janeiro like new scent. So I just got her a cute little gift set that comes with, I think, like a really nice little carry case, which I actually have the same set, but in like the original scent. Um, It comes with a body spray a i think the bum bum cream and then um a shower gel as well like a travel size one so yeah very cute and then i got her a few other little bits um what else i oh i do actually want to wrap the presents <laughs> um again i won't be seeing her on the day so it's not that bad that i'm wrapping them last minute um i want to plan out my budget I will be getting paid the day after and then I do want to have a video go live normally it would be at 6 a.m but I've just realized I covered that up with the birthday so we'll just pop it at eight and this will be the video that I edited on Monday so I will fill that in once I know what I'm doing there 
I do kind of want to have a waxing appointment this day. I need to just figure out which time. My regular esthetician who does all my waxing facials and stuff, she's actually in Canada for a month visiting family. So I'm going to a shop that I used to go to way back when. So I know that they're good. Um, so I just need to book, but you book online. So it literally will take me five minutes. I just want to double check what meetings I have. Uh, so if I can just leave work a little bit earlier, like maybe 4, 4.30, it's, it's like a 10 minute walk from my house. So not far at all, but I'm going to just put, I'm actually going to use up the last one here, uh, a little thing here for probably like, we're just going to put it at five. Um, and then, yeah, just put a waxing appointment and I'll just confirm the time once I book it. I think that's pretty much it for Thursday. On to Friday, best day of the month, it's payday. Uh, now that I, or myself and my partner are, are like seriously going to be buying a house. <laughs> and when I say seriously, it's only just because we weren't necessarily ready to buy. Well, I was, I've always been ready. He needed to be a bit more ready. But now that we are like actively seeking the process of buying a house, um, I'm just very excited for payday because I just, I'm putting so much more into savings, which is exciting and there's a big milestone goal that I'm working towards. So yeah, I, I mean, I always look forward to payday anyway, but it's even nicer when you've got something that you're saving towards uh, to put money towards. What else is going on? Oh, I want to film my budget recap. Oh, and I forgot to add something on Thursday. I actually want to plan out my budget because, oh no, I did, I put that already. Oh, you guys, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Because I do actually get my pay slip at 3 p.m. the day before. So I'll know. I mean, I always know pretty much how much I'm getting. But sometimes there's slight fluctuations to my pay. So, and it will only be like by £10 or something like that. So I just want to make sure. And then I can for sure plan out what my budget will be. So I want to film my budget recap on the Friday. Um, and then I want to edit actually another video. I want to be a bit better at editing. And then upload and schedule and then do the thumbnail as well and then I'm not entirely sure what's happening on Friday there's a possibility that I might be going to my partner's house I'm not too sure yet just because we've got a family party the day after and either I'm going to meet him somewhere or he'll pick me up from my house on Saturday or I'll just go to his the day before his brother will be coming down as well from Bristol so his house is going to be kind of full so yeah, we'll see for sure what's happening, but there's a possibility that I'll be going to his on Friday. And if that's the case, I'll need to pack and stuff like that. But I'm just going to plan as if I'm not going to his. Um, that's pretty much it for Friday. I just want to give myself a chilled evening again. I'll be going to the gym. Saturday, I'd quite like to, if I'm at home, film my November budget and then wash or well, oil my hair as well as wash it and style and as i said we have got a family party 60th family party so i'm just gonna put i'm actually not sure what time it is i'm just gonna put it at like seven six seven so yeah that will pr pretty much be for the rest of the night um and then if i am at home i'll just go to the gym during the day do my hair film the budget and then just get ready to either be picked up or meet my boyfriend somewhere that is pretty much saturday you guys not really much is going on and then Sunday, we're doing all the things. So I do want to change my pillowcases. Oh, and I just realized, you guys, I forgot to add. I literally cannot spell. Look at how I've spelled pillowcases, guys. Does anyone else just feel like sometimes their brain and their, like, fun motor functions just do not connect? Because, yeah, me. <laughs> pillowcases. Again, I'm changing my sheets today. So pillowcases, I alternate. I change my pillowcases every week, but my sheets I do every two weeks. I want to bring down my bins. I want to hoover, set up next week, and then possibly film next week. I'm going to put a question mark next to it, just because if it's boring, I don't want to have to film it for you guys. <laughs> I feel like as we're entering into November, I'm going to have a couple of weeks of not really doing much. So no point wasting your time with a plan with me when I'm not really doing much. What else? Oh, it is the F1 Mexican Grand Prix, which is exciting. I think this week's one is the US one. So... I will be tuning into that this evening. It's at eight o'clock, which is quite nice. So I can kind of just wind down for the day and watch it. Uh, 8 p.m. And then that, you guys, I think is it. Okay, friends, that was my plan with me from the week commencing 23rd of October through the 29th. I did realize that I was filming in like a really dodgy angle. So I'm hoping that <laughs> I can kind of fix that during editing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today. 
let me know what you're getting up to this week i am forever nosy so i'd love to know and thank you so much for watching till the end if you're still watching if you are not already subscribed please consider doing so and giving the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will see you in the next one bye